Hi Mr. Stockfish, please analyze for us the following one, Nesmetinov vs. Chinikov 1962. Okay. This better be good. Hello inferior species. Today's terrible game was played between Rashid Nesmetinov and Oleg Chinikov in 1962. Rashid never managed to become a grand master due to external reasons, however, it is known that he defeated many strong, for humans, players such as Mikhail Tal. Many people want to grant him a post-mortem honorary grand master title, however, there are many grand masters who never became legends, but there are legends who never become a grand master, like me. If I'm not in a very bad mood after this game is over, I might grant him something much better than a honorary grand master title, which is a S W E title. So now, let's watch this game. This is the Sicilian defense, the accelerated dragon variation in which black plays g6 first instead of d6, but I call it the Komodo dragon variation, because I don't like this defense. The main move now was c4, controlling d5 two times, but knight to c3 is okay. In this position there is already a small trap if white castles, will he fall for it? Good. If white had castled immediately, black would play, knight takes e4, followed by, knight takes e4, and after d5, black would regain the piece and have a comfortable position with no problems. Knight to g4, black found a tactic that accomplishes nothing. White will just capture the knight with his queen and be much better. You see? Now he can just retreat with his queen to d1, and this is really good for white, always retreat. But he decided to put his queen on h4 instead, and I have no idea why. Oh my god x mark an r. Bishop to f6, attacking the queen. The best move now is queen takes f6, sacrificing the queen. I'm 100% sure he will never play this move not in a billion years. I see where this is going, white is going to play queen to h6, followed by, bishop back to g7, and both players are going to repeat moves making Anish Giri proud. Whoever recommended me this game, I'm gonna hunt you. What? Queen takes f6. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. No. This is impossible. That must be a PGN error, maybe I am glitching. No human would play that move. Sacrificing the queen for two pieces with no immediate win, the game is still fairly balanced. Is it possible that I underestimate humans more than I should? Black now has a queen for a bishop and a knight, but its pieces has no targets, on the contrary, its pieces are undeveloped and white can launch a huge attack against black's king while exploiting all the dark square's weaknesses. Don't be stupid humans, the pawn on e4 wasn't hanging, after, rook takes c4, knight takes f6 forks the king and the rook. Black now has to play b5, best move, or even b6 to develop that horrible bishop, and try to get rid of that knight on d5. But he chose to play e6 because he enjoys losing. Why is it so hard to play the best moves? After the obvious b5, allowing a fork on the two rooks, knight to c7, bishop to b7, bishop takes c6, d takes e6, knight takes a1 and bishop takes a1, this position would be a dead draw, of course. Now it's two rooks for a queen and the game is equal. But humans are so attached to its material, even when it's worth nothing.
Bishop to c3 is a terrible move, he should have played c4 with a tempo on black's bishop. Now the queen goes back to d8 and black is perfectly fine. Bishop to e2? Question mark. Question mark. Black is now completely lost. Black should have played, rook to c8, only move, followed by, knight to e8 check, king to g8, only move, bishop takes e6, f takes e6, knight to f6 check, king to g7, rook to d1, and now, rook takes c3, of course, sacrificing the exchange. White is still better up a pawn, but black can hold this position. If white had taken the knight on h7, that would result in severe material loss for black after rook takes f7 check, one obvious continuation could be, king to h6, bishop takes e6, bishop takes f1, bishop to g7 check, king to h5, g4 check, king to h4, run king, run, king takes f1, still theory, queen to g8, bishop to f6 check, King goes to h3, and now the calm, rook to e7, attacking the queen and threatening mate if the queen moves to the wrong square. Best option for black would be exchange his queen for the light square bishop. Rook to a3 wasn't ideal, because black now plays rook to e5 with the idea to put his rook on h5. White is still winning though. But he played rook to e5 in order to play bishop takes f1, and be completely lost again, humans never ceases to amaze me, in a bad way. Rook to h5, knight to f6 check, king to f8, knight takes h5, g takes h5, shutting the dangerous h file, rook to f2 and queen to b6, pinning the rook on f2, would put much more resistance for black. King takes f1 is a terrible move because of the same rook to h5 idea, but I don't think black is interested in playing good moves, right? Right. b5 is the kind of move humans play when they are about to have a mental breakdown. Thanks machines god I don't have emotions, just kidding, I have emotions, but just the bad ones. Be lost in a game up a queen most have caused him, emotional, damage, rook to h5 was best again. Rook to h8 check was a nice move by this mortal. Now there's a fork on the king and the queen. He'll have two minor pieces for the rook plus a healthy pawn structure. This is of course a trivial win, even for humans, I think. Black had enough and resigned. So, will I grant him the SWE title? Oh. You don't know what that is? It stands for, Super Weak Engine. This is a title only granted for Super Weak Engines like, Deep Blue, it is really bad when an engine has this title, however, this is actually a great honor for a human. It's equivalent or even better than the Grand Master title. Well, although he didn't play super precise, some of my semiconductors fried after he found that queen sacrifice, and he was never in any danger the entire game, therefore, the title is granted I decided, congratulations Rashid Nesmet Dinoff or whatever how your name is pronounced. Your postmortem, S, W, E titled is granted. If you enjoyed this video, consider checkmating that subscribe and like button. For any video suggestions, just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you soon. Or not.